this is John Bollinger with Premier Guitar. Today we're doing a review demo of the Keeley Multi Echo ME8. Eight because it has eight settings right here, eight distinct sounds. I think of it more as like a three because there's a basically there's a reverb which I came in with this kind of beautiful hall reverb, but there's also a delay and then there's a kind of a chorusing effect too. Um, in short, it's all, Keeley's found these different ways to manipulate these sounds and put them in one little box. And I'll tell you all about it after I tell you about how we're recording it. Um, I've got my, uh, my PRS SCJ just plugged right into it, into the Keeley. And then we're running the Keeley into a Fender Supersonic amp in the clean channel. We'll probably get dirty later on as well. And um, they're both totally flat. I'm micing it with a Royer R120 and mic, and that's going into an Apache Quartet and into Pro Tools. So just plugging straight in and going. So it's amazing how much they squeezed into this tiny box. Right here you have, at your feet, you have eight different effects. There's automatic double tracking, chorus, tape echo with dynamic modulation, analog delay, and subdivided digital delay, as well as room chamber uh, with distortion and a hall reverb with shimmer. When we came in, I was using that shimmery hall thing, but let's start at the beginning and we we'll roll it all the way back to one and kind of show you what it does. This is in the chorusing section. Now, up here you have these three different controls, but they change for each different effect. So the um, so it gets a little more complex and that's something you're gonna have to kind of tweak on your own, but I'm gonna give you a flavor of all of it. But the one knob that remains consistent, or the two, is this over here, which is a blend, which is great, which lets you kind of dial in how much of that effect you want. And this, which is a selector of those eight different settings. So right here, we're in the chorusing setting. Uh, I guess this is the ADT Modern. And you see pretty subtle, but you can bring in that blend. So you can have further tweakability up here. Right here is your depth of that chorus. So everything from subtle to crazy. Now, this is the vintage version. Let's bring that back to a little more manageable amount. It's nice though, it gives you a little bit of depth, but nothing over the top. While we're on number two, the vintage setting, let's turn on a little dirt and turn up the depth. To me, it almost has like a univibe vibe. Here we go. What I really dig about that, because you have this blend knob, you can make the effect fairly radical, but bring it back. So it's cool to have that sort of tweakability.
So next we have the first of delays, the tape delay. This is a, um, and this is going to be the, the death will be our, our region. Let me just show you what that sounds like. That's some fun, trippy stuff, right? Okay, next we have a uh, analog delay. And as I said, this, the, these controls change as you change settings. So right now, our depth is our amount of repeats. And on this one, the modulation is actually, the depth is, is controlled dynamically. So apparently, the harder you hit it, you're going to hear more of it. So... Cool, right? It's kind of got a nice, you know, a nice analog kind of, uh, I don't know, uh, rockabilly kind of thing. pretty authentic, you know, considering that it's in the same box as all these other sounds. So next we have a subdivided thing, but you have to tweak it by ear so it takes a little bit of listening. Great, right? I mean, real kind of Bill Haley's. Cool, right? So next we have reverbs, but they're really interesting rather than just, you know, conventional verbs. This first one is a room reverb, but it gives you this sort of distortion, which apparently you get when there's too much reverb in a small room, like a whole band recording in one room. So let me just show you what that does. Okay. <laughs> So that's pretty extreme. Let me turn it down a little bit. But I dig that sound. That's really cool. I don't, I don't think I've ever heard that sound on another reverb pedal. Very cool. So next, number seven, is a nice chamber delay, or reverb rather, but it's just a kind of roomy and rich.
Man, that's pretty. And the last is eight, which where we came in on. And this gives you, it's a hall reverb, but you've got this kind of uh, shimmery thing to it. It's like, uh, I don't know, it's elfin magic. <laughs> Still ringing. So, granted, I had this set up really high. I mean, I um, had the effect higher than you'd probably normally use because I really want you to hear the effect. But it has way cool, subtle settings as well. You know, if I was if I was using it in a normal setting, it'd probably be something like. which just gives you kind of a nice roomy sort of sound. But it's cool to be able to turn that blend way up and have it so over the top. So those are the basic details of the Keeley Multi Echo ME8. To read the full written review, go to premierguitar.com. While you're online, make sure you uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's awesome. Also, look us up on Facebook and check out our very cool new podcast. All kinds of stuff in there for you, too. <laughs>